Christine Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. It's time for another Dollar Tree DIY. So let me show you what I have. I have one of these Hurricane vases. I love this shape. I think it's a new shape. I could be wrong, but I think it's new. I also have some of the twine from the automotive department. And then I have some sheer orange and uh, some... Oh, where did I get this? This would... This would have come in like a Michael's grab bag. And it is, yeah, it's just a ribbon. It's a polyester ribbon. And what else do I have? So just grab any any uh, ribbons that you like. I got two bunches of the peonies and one bunch of the uh, chrysanthemums. And then I have some leftover leaves for my fall projects. Definitely not going to have enough of these for my remaining fall projects, but I will have to go get more. But I have enough for this one. And then last but not least, uh, these little doilies, and they uh, come two to a pack. So I've got one of those, and then my glue gun. And we're going to get started. Guess what I'm going to wear? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started. Now, I got one of these from... Uh, it's just, it was packing in something I had purchased, and it just happens to hold these vases very nicely so they don't run around. So I know um, when I'm doing them like this, it's pretty hard to get that not to run around. But I'm going to take the uh, doily here, and I'm going to fold it right in half. Now you can cut it in half if you'd like. I'm just going to line these up and then I'm going to put this smack dab in the center like that. I'm going to take this guy and I am going to, well, first I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on here. I'm going to put it right on there because I know that I want that to be at the bottom of my glass and so I'm just going to place this perfectly right on the bottom there we go perfect and now I'm going to bring this up toward the sides and I said I was going to wear my little mittens I'm going to bring this up just toward the side there I'm just going to hold it in place. And I'm going to put on these little mittens here because I am already telling that I want to touch things. <laughs> so I'm going to push this down into there we go. Like that. push them down and just get them all where I want it perfect and then I'm going to do the other side hope you can see that yep bring that piece up and we are pulling this rather taut moving that where I want it and this is going to be super cute super fall We're just going to hold that down. And the reason I'm making it decorated like this is because I want to have a nice centerpiece that somebody can talk about and it's very fall. There we go. 
Oh my goodness. You're going to love this one. You can see it just standing straight upright. But now you can decide if you want this to be the front or if you want this to be the front. It's all up to you. I love it either way. And I was actually going to do this part as the front, but now that I'm seeing it, I think I'm going to go with this as the front. And I'm going to take off some of these leaves here. And they just pull off. And the reason I was going to do it in the first place is because I don't want you to be able to see the stem. So I was thinking that this side would be really pretty. Let me just show you. And then I was going to put some different little leaves on here, which I think would be gorgeous. And now I'm looking at it this way, and I'm thinking it would be gorgeous to do it this way as well. And the leaves will still... the stems will still be covered up. So let me look here. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with my original plan. Yeah. Because um, either way, those stems are going to be covered up. And I wanted to see like, oh, you could see the lace through there, but I don't think you'll be able to. And I really want the lace to be the focus on here. So I'm just going to take some of these guys and we're just going to cut them. Just a few here and there. So you get to see into my brain as to how <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've got an idea. And I'll just work it out with the beauties. They'll understand. <laughs> so, okay, we've got these. I think that is enough. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting these on here. I'm going to get my little finger thing here. And you can have some coming out from behind here if you'd like. Whatever you'd like. But we're just going to put those right on here. And then you definitely want to push down and get that into the lace. And then any other parts that you might want to be held on there too. I wouldn't just put one little spot. I would definitely put multiples. So we'll do this one. I took off my fingers. And we're ooh. That was not intended. See, I'm trying to be nice. Do not touch your <laughs> glue gun <laughs> to your hand directly. That's gonna give me a blister already. Alright. That's okay. We're gonna move on. If you work with hot glue, you know. Well, I'll put the fingers back on. <laughs> if nothing else. We're just going to push that down in there. And get that other finger on. No matter how many fingers I had on, I was not going <laughs> to help me there anyways. So... All right, let's do this. I hope that you'll share this, <laughs> even if it's just to show people that I burnt myself, because I could use all the help I could get on this channel here. And then I think I'm gonna do one last one right here. It is 
just looking really pretty. Can you see all that? I'm just going to look. Oh, yeah. There we go. So I've got the leaves done. I think I could take these off now. So now I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. And I'm going to take that twine. And you want to take a bunch of twine. And I've already done this. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. I take it and fold it in half. And then I fold it in half again. And cut those edges. Cut these edges. I guess they'd be sides. And then you're just going to make a bow. And then you pull your bow until you get it exactly how you want it. And then once you get it how you want it, I'm going to stick these back through here. Once you get it how you want it, then you're going to cut the edges off. So you take your shorter edges, hopefully you can make them a little bit straighter than mine, and then you've got a beautiful bow, and I have another one already made, so I've got this small one, and then I've got a larger one that I'm going to glue together, but it makes a nice big bow. So I'm going to take that. glue on there and glue those two, one right directly on top of the other. And we're going to set that aside for just a moment and bring this guy back and we're going to take this again and we're just going to, I mean it is very inexpensive twine so feel free to use as much as you want. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to take that, wrap it around here twice. I'm going to put it down at the bottom where we had this all done. And we're going to tie that. And you can bring it back around if you'd like to have the the knot in the back what well, however you choose but I'm gonna do it around the back because I actually like the thicker rope here I'm just gonna tie that in a double knot and I just love decorating vases it's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so I'm going to cut this here and cut this off here just to make it as clean as possible. And then I will put a little bit of hot glue just to keep it nice and cleaned up. So look how cute that is super adorable. I also have some ribbon if you'd rather use some of this other type of ribbon. And I am going to still use some of this for my bows, but this one's not going to be as long. I'm just going to take these little guys and make a bow. Not very good. You know me. I don't know how to make bows really well. And actually, I probably should have done it where you see the green on the outside, right? And then turn it, I guess, is what we're going to do. That way, the green pokes through here. I told you, 
not good at bows. <laughs> Don't rely on me for bow making, that's for sure. But it is a, a pretty little bow. When we finally get it done. I don't know if I'm going to name this DIY or watch Jean fumble over bows. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's so cute though. And we've got our little tails here. And I'm going to match that up to these little guys. And we're going to cut off the tails like that. And then I'm going to do this one the same. There we go. How cute is that? All right, I'm going to bring this back in here so you guys could see what we're doing. We're going to put a bow right on here. There we go. Okay. And put that bow right there. Now, if you want it to be done at that point, be done. You do what you want to have this looking like. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit because I want to be able to see that bow. And I'm going to take this bow and put it just right, right above it. cover up those little leaves there. Okay, so this is going to be the fun part. I've got some lace. This is all like nice and pretty, but then these little beaded pearls. Oh my goodness. These are from Stampin' Up! And I just think they are adorable and would look so cute right there with the um, like pearls and lace right I'm gonna have to be very careful here oh there we go got it so it just adds that little bit of pretty little lace on there I love it okay so that is it. That is our finished project. I am going to arrange the flowers in there and then I will show you a picture. All right, I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. I'm doing some DIYs um, and just decorating for the fall. So gotta get some fall stuff done. All right, beauties, I hope you have a great day. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.